Good morning, Good morning Children's, Children's Ministry. Ministry. We miss you so much. I know, we just came about four miles just to say hello. Yes, and <laughs> so we word. wish you a wonderful Bible class this morning. Have a great time. Let's pray. Uh, Father God, thank you so much for the many blessings you have bestowed upon us, God. And Father, I pray that we continue to get closer to each other as a family, but more importantly, as a ministry, dear God. Father, I pray that we don't lose this opportunity, Father, to reach out to the world beyond us, God. Mm -hmm. And Father, that I pray that we continue to forward um, the Children's Ministry link, um, our ministry link, God, the Bronx Ministry link to our friends and families, Father, mm -hmm. so they're able to worship with us Sundays and Wednesdays, mm -hmm. when, uh, whenever the chance is available, God. Dad, we love you, we thank you, we pray all this thing in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. 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 We are marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. Whoa, whoa. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching, marching, we are marching. Ooh, we are marching in the light of light of God. We are marching, marching, we are marching. Ooh, we are marching in the light of God. Marchando, marchando in la lucidio. Marchando in la lucidio. Marchando in la lucidio. Marchando in la lucidio. Marchando. Marchando, marchando in la lucidio. Marchando. We are serving. We are serving in the light of God. 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 We are serving, serving, we are serving. We are serving in the light of God. We are serving. Serving, we are serving. Ooh, we, we are, are serving. serving in the light of God. We are praying. We are praying in the light of God. We are praying in the light of God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are praying in the light of God. We are praying in the light of God. We are praying, praying. We are praying. Ooh, we are praying in the light of God. We are praying. Praying, we are praying. Ooh, Praying, we are praying. Ooh, we are praying in the light of God. Now your choice. In the light of God, we are in the light of God. 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 We are praying. We are singing, dancing, laughing, the light of God. We are dancing, singing, clapping. We are, ooh, ooh, we are in the light of God. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Whose side are you fighting on? I'm fighting on the Lord's side. Whose side are you fighting on? I'm fighting on the Lord's side.
ministry. Um, welcome to our Sunday service for the Youth and Family Ministry. Um, this morning, we want to talk about what it means to be grateful and to have gratitude. Um, so I want us to go around and I want us just to tell each other what are some things or a person that they're grateful for. So Shalice, what is a person or something that you're grateful for? Yeah. Great. What about you, Amber? I am thankful for my family and my cousin and my grandparents. What about you, Charlotte? So, Charlotte, you're grateful for your toys? Okay, she's going out of space. Going out of space? Yeah. Okay. What about you, Amanda? What are you grateful for? Um, I'm grateful for for family, for um, being at this time where you know we're we're quarantined at home that we get to spend time with our family and that you know despite how we may look at it as being something that's negative, that it's just that God is allowing us to spend time with with the people that we normally don't get to spend time with because we're always busy, we're always running around, and we're always you know doing different stuff outside of the house that we're able to just sit home and be home with our family. So I'm just grateful for spending time at home and just grateful for um, just God knowing things that we need when we need it. Yes, and I'm grateful also for family. Um, it's a blessing to have them and I'm grateful for it. So today I wanted to, us to um, look in the Bible and talk about uh, Daniel. Um, I'm going to just pretty much just explain what we want to talk about today when it comes to Daniel. Um, so Daniel was very close to the king, and the king's name was Darius. Um, so Daniel and the king, they were really close. Um, the king respected Daniel, and Daniel respected the king as also. So to make a, a long story short, Daniel was placed in the lion's den. And we know this part of the story. It was because of the people's jealousy of Daniel's righteousness and his relationship with God that they were trying to trap him. But this didn't work because God protected him from the mouths of the lions. But it still gave King Darius no choice. So as a result, the king place Daniel in the lion's den. He wasn't too key to do that, but he did it regardless. Um, so I want to just talk a little bit about what happened when the king came and to check on Daniel. So Shalice, if you could read to us exactly what happened. It's in chapter, Daniel chapter 6, verse 21 to 23. My king lives forever. My God sent his angel to, to close the lion's mouths. They, they have not hurt me because my God knows I am innocent. I never did anything wrong to you, my king. Darius was very happy. He told his servants to lift Daniel out of the lion's den. So they lift him, lifted him out and did not find any injury on him. This is because Daniel has trusted in his God. Exactly. So what happened is that in the Bible, right? Daniel was placed in the lion's den, and what happened is that when the king came to see him, he said that he trusted in God, right? And he also thanked the king, right? He could easily be upset. You know, he could have been upset, mad at everyone, but he said, you know what? My God watched over me, right? And that's what happened. God watched over Daniel while he was in the den. When, the, when King Darius came, he also thanked the king, right? And he told him that he was grateful for both God and Darius, right? So today, I want us just to be grateful for each other, grateful for our families, all right? So before we wrap up, I want us to have... Amber wanted to read that. Oh, Amber wants to read that? Okay. The definition of... Grateful. So go ahead, Amber. Grateful means a feeling or showing an appreciation of kindness and the quality of being thankful for 
to show a big reason for when you're looking in. Wow, that's great. So, so what are we going to do, guys, today? I want us to be grateful, show gratitude to God, and so show gratitude and gratefulness to someone. So, we want to challenge you, everyone who's watching this to be grateful to your family, your friends, even strangers. So, whether or not you give them a call, write them a letter, um, send them a text, whatever it takes, let someone know that you're grateful and you show gratitude toward them. All right, so guys, we want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching the Youth and Family Ministry. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi. We're going to be doing some planting because we are grateful for um, the things that God is able to provide us through his plants. Um, you know, plants are living things just like we are and they need water just like we do. Plants are very important and um, you can see why God created seeds and plants because they are able to produce food for us. And I don't know if you ever had opportunity to look at a seed or I'm sure you have, but like just look at seeds and you see that seeds are so tiny, like tomato seeds are, are so tiny. And I do have some seeds here, like tomato seeds and rosemary seeds are so small and so tiny, but they produce such amazing fruit. Like the eggplant seeds are small, or the tomato seeds, the cucumber seeds, scallions, even lettuce seeds, and they produce such an abundance of food for us to eat. And um, we are grateful that God has provided all of these things for us. So we were just going to do some planting of um, some seeds. So Charlise is going to tell us what plants that we're going to pick to plant, and then we're going to get started. I am planting cosmos seeds. Grows into um, a flower that looks like this. Oh, we're gonna get some soil and we're gonna put the soil inside our pot. That's all this is gonna do for us. And then we are gonna get planted. Why do you like um, seeds so much, Charlize? Yeah. I think it's cool. What's cool about the seeds? Little seeds. Seeing how big we can grow, get them to grow. Mm -hmm. So Charlize has been planting a lot of seeds and a lot of flowers um, this past couple of weeks. I work in a, in a preschool setting. One of the themes that we had just finished was plants. And so we got to do a lot of planting, a lot of examining seeds, a lot of examining how things grow. And so Charlize took a real big interest into, into watching how all of these different things mature. And, and again, it just shows how amazing um, God is that he can take such something so small and so in insignificant just to look at and it produces such amazing fruit, such amazing flowers, such amazing things that we get to enjoy and we get to eat and just to look at to enjoy that um, just can't help be in awe of how amazing God is. All right, we want to thank the Glassford family again for sharing this week's Bible story about Daniel and, and gratitude. And we're grateful for all of the families. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel down below. If you missed any old videos, you can always go back and, and check them out. Uh, again, thank you for worshiping with us and join us again next week. And before we end, we're going to just give thanks and praise to God, just like people have been saying hello and thank you to the essential workers. Don't we give do all it. thanks and praise to God. Let's do it with the Glassford girls. Bang those cards. Make some noise.